the Broncos at plus 850. I mean, for them to be above the, the Titans, the Bengals. I know, I know. Yeah, Russell Wilson, the, right? It's all that. That's it basically is. it, right? Yeah. The quarterback, new regime in there. Yep. Maybe more offensive minded. They do have some weapons. Yeah. But of all those players and the quarterback, who are you going to well, have your gonna eye? going to go with? Tell me yours first. Oh, all right. I'll go with mine first. Mine, uh, my defensive lineman to watch is Draymond Jones. Draymond Jones. You have a type. It is hilarious. Fourth year in Denver. I love He's it. He's got that great first step in agility. I love that. That's my type. Uh, his pass, ru- pass rush moves apparently improved yep. each year. Question with him is can he be a uh, – a run stopper. Yeah, so I think right. that's something to watch yes. for them. Yeah, it is something to watch for them. They they are, you know, they're one of those teams where you go, yeah, they they don't have that big guy presence in the middle. Um, but you love the 6'3", 285 guy. <laughs> that's what I I just realized. Yeah. They really I mean really, we should make a graphic of the guys Pete that he's made <laughs> up so far and you're going to see they all got the same body type too. Yeah. It, it, it's yeah. all the same person. They're playing on all the. All, they're playing on all these teams, yeah. and they just change their name. According. Actually, I just pick players that are the names I can say. <laughs> well, if you've but, noticed that so uh, far. That's a, that's a, that's Dude, a good that thing helps. to go. That helps. Uh, but but uh, I, I he's a fits that that same guy we've been talking about. Whether it was you know Demarcus Walker, Demarvin Lail, he's he is like that. So yeah. I'm with you there. I'm I'm. You know, I, I want to see Bradley Chubb to see if he can regain form, but it's not the guy I'm going to pick because I'm going to pick D.J. Jones. I'm going to go on the defensive tackle side. D.J. Mm. Jones, to me, is the under-the-radar, nobody talked about him on the 49ers, and he was a big part of what made them so good on the defensive side of the wow. ball. That, you know, just it's, it's why I'm glad you're doing this because I know that this is a guy we'll get to talk about more now and everything because he's a guy that's like, I go, eh, he's one of the better players in the league at the position that no one ever brings his name up and you never hear about. Started all 17 games last yes, year in the right. regular season with they the 49ers. Him, they gave him what, a, a three-year, $30 million contract or something that. along those lines, I think, something in there. Um, so, yeah, he he's one that, that I'm looking for. And then – Wazarike, who they took from Iowa State, I loved him, the the rookie, and I think he was a fourth rounder. He would classify to me under the Travis Jones thing where I was like, what the f- is he still doing here in the fourth round? I don't yeah. understand it. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to go with that DJ Jones. I'm excited for him to to pop on the scene here. All right, so that's interesting. With all the uh, the great playmakers on offense, our eyes are on the defense. But yeah. that makes sense, right? Because we, we feel like the offense should make a step forward. You, you expect to see it. Yeah. How's that defense going to be? Yeah, no, I think that's that's that's. I, I would be shocked if the offense isn't really damn good. And yeah. I, I want to see KJ Handler come back, and can he be really explosive and all that? But I, I think the defense is the thing to watch here. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.